Welcome to another video. This is a very basic equation that otherwise looks scary. And I want you to look at this problem and say, I can do this because actually you can. It does not require any special skills. It just requires basic skills, but pay attention to one sp specific detail. And that detail is that you have an exponent of three on the right hand side. And because this is an algebraic equation, you should get three solutions. Now, there could be other solutions that um, you could get that are not just straightforward algebraic solutions because it might in some cases be a transcendental equation. But if you're dealing with it as if it's an algebraic equation by the fundamental um, theorem of algebra, you're supposed to get three solutions. So that's what we're going to attempt and see where it takes us. Let's get into it. So let's just go ahead and solve this. The first thing I am going to do is pull every term to one side. It is always smart to do that. Now you can do it via subtraction or you can do it via um, division. I think for the sake of this, it makes it easier to divide both sides by one of the two terms. So let's do this. Let's divide x to the x by x to the third and we divide this also by x to the third. So on the right hand side, we're going to get one. Why was I so confident um, in dividing? It's because I know that this cannot be zero because assuming this is zero, it will be zero to the third, which makes this side zero. But on the left hand side, I'm going to have zero raised to power zero. And at this level, we'll take zero raised to power zero to be an indeterminate form. So we, we're not doing the zero raised to power zero equals one, which I know in some circles that it will, is what mathematicians take it to be. But because we're still dealing in, with al algebra at this point, we're gonna say x is not equal to zero. So let's cancel that as one of the possible options. I'm gonna write it here. X is not equal to zero. So it makes this division possible. I didn't have to divide, but I choose to do division just to make that point. So on this side, what do I have? I'm going to have, by the laws of exponents, I'm having x equals, I mean, x to the x minus 3. So now, this is going to look a lot easier once you see what we're about to do next. Well, remember, when you have an exponential equation, you want to bring down the exponent by taking the natural log of both sides. So if I take the natural log of this, I get ln of x to the x minus 3 will be equal to ln of 1. And what do I get? I get x minus 3 times ln of x equals, well, ln of 1 has to be 0. So I have a product of two functions that gives me 0. It means this is equal to 0, or this is equal to 0, or both of them are equal to 0. So let's see. We can say x minus 3 equals 0, or ln of x is equal to 0. By this, x equals 3 is the first answer we're going to get. We're going to go check all the answers and see if they're correct. Or, well, if ln of x equals 0, if you take the e of both sides, what do you have? x must be equal to 1, clearly x equals 1. So we have two answers, x equals 3 or x equals 1, and it doesn't look like there's any other option for us. So we have two answers, and remember what I said at the beginning, we're supposed to get three answers. So I still don't know where to get the third answer from, but let's check the two answers we already have. We have x equals 3. If I plug in 3 here, 3 to the third will be equal to 3 to the third. Correct. Let's plug in 1. 1 raised to power 1 equals 1, and is the same thing as 1 raised to power 3, which is also 1. So 
That is correct. But we need one more answer. You have to get that by observation or by plotting the graph. So that's how I found out how to figure out what the third one is. If you sketch the graph of this function and you sketch the graph of this function, there is an intersection at the point x equals minus 1, which is the third answer. And if you try minus 1 here, so third answer, so let's say um, x minus 1, sorry, x equals 1 is also a solution. Okay, so we can say x is equal to minus 1. Sorry, come on, I said minus 1. <laughs> minus 1, 1, and 3. These are the solutions. Okay, x is either minus 1 or 1 or 3. I just listed them out. Now let's test minus 1. Minus 1 raised to power minus 1. Is it the same thing as minus 1? to the third. What is minus 1 raised to the power minus 1? It, it's the same thing as 1 over minus 1. That's what this means. Is it the same thing as minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1? Well, the left right hand side is going to be minus 1 and this is still minus 1. So this is correct. So this set of numbers satisfy satisfies this the equation that we have and remember I said we got it by graphing this is what the graph looks like so whenever a problem looks super tough or unfamiliar just start from what you know to get what you want there are alternative ways of solving this you probably could pull everything to one side and factor and then equate and you get the same answer but never stop learning for those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.